Hello beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Stephen here, the 28th, 28th of March in the year 2023. And as you can see, it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Um, so today, I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the way that leads to everlasting life, the way that leads to a guaranteed place in heaven. And today I'm having a day off from street preaching, not, not just because of the weather. I had to, I've just been to the post office to post a couple of packages of stickers for a couple of people in the, the UK. Unfortunately, I can't give everybody them because um, I haven't got that many, but I would if I, if I had the supply, I would. I think I might ask if I pay them um, some money if you get me a load printed and then I'll send some off to you but I need to do it quick I think uh, because I don't believe we've got much time the Lord Jesus Christ is coming I know we don't know the, the hour but the day is fast approaching if not upon us today we don't know but it's that close we can feel it in the atmosphere that the the enemy antichrist spirit is rising and the apocalypse rising revelation jacob's trouble the great tribulation daniel 70th week is looming upon us showing its ugly face already so we know we're in the time the season for the rapture to take place because the church is not appointed to god's wrath revelation 4 verse 1 is the rapture uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 to 18 is the rapture anyway listen guys you know that um, I will quickly tell you the gospel of Jesus Christ if you want to be saved with everlasting life and you want to enter into heaven I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't because the other alternative is outer darkness in hell utterly consumed with terrors so I'm going to tell you the way to be saved with everlasting life. I'm sorry, I had to do that because of that truck. But listen, we, we need saving, all of us. And, well, I am saved, but... Uh, oh, somebody's trying to ring me just now. Anyway, the way to be saved, you need saving because we have all sinned and broken God's commandments. Like the Bible says in Romans 3.23... Romans 6.23 says that the wages or the end of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everyone that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, Jesus has promised he will not turn anyone away. He won't turn you away, no matter what you've done. Hold on a second. I know some people say to me, oh, it, it won't forgive me. I've done too much, too much evil stuff, you know, too much bad stuff. And I said, wrong, wrong. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, it means whosoever. So if you believe that Jesus died on that cross for you, that he shed his blood on that cross for the forgiveness of all your sin, and he was buried and rose again, you believe that the Son of God did that for you, Jesus Christ. He died for you on that cross. He rose again from the dead. And you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Like I say, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, all can be saved. Just like the Bible says, and all can be saved. All can be saved. God wants all to be saved, sorry, that's what I meant. That's what his word says. He's not willing that any should perish. So, please believe if you haven't, Jesus loves you, he won't turn you away. So, here I am walking in the rain, um, just going into town to get a few more bits and pieces that I need. Bits and pieces for ministry. Um, anyway, I'll sh we lost them two boards. I've still got another board. I'm gonna have to tell Mark and Nicole um, I need to ring the train station again and ask them 
if they have found it, found them after all. Uh, I've got a feeling that they've gone. Uh, but never mind. I'm not too fussed about it. Well, I am, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, anyway, I love you, family. I love you all very much. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for supporting, supported us. Um, I'll let you know. Tomorrow, I think we're going out preaching. Me and brother Stephen. Please pray for us that we'd get it together. I'm praying about asking the Lord where he wants us to go. Where he would have us go, you know, to preach. Because this, this, this nation in particular, the UK, is sadly, there's not many preachers here. Um, this is what I keep hearing from everybody. So, so um, I know brother Lee preaches when he can. I know brother Philip preaches also when he can. Um, there are some preachers, obviously, but not as many as, as there, 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 there could be or should be or needs to be. Anyway, family, I'm not going to waffle on. Just a quick message. I'll try, I might do you a video later when I'm inside at home and, and talk about something, uh, something biblical, relevant. But uh, stand fast, be strong. Be brave, be courageous, take your authority in Jesus Christ, put on the whole armour of God. Remember that the things that are impossible with us are possible with God. Um, so, right, I'm going to make this very short. I love you all, I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to your throne, Abba Father, under the blood of Jesus Christ. Your servant comes to you and asks you that you bless all my fellow servants in Jesus' mighty name, my fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus' mighty name. Bless them and keep them in your perfect love which casts out fear. Make your glorious face shine upon them, extinguishing all darkness around them. Lift up the power and the beauty and the health of your countenance upon them and give them peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Amen. So, uh, I'll get off, guys. I love you all very much. It's difficult doing a, a video when it's chucking it down, but I'll try and do one later. All right. Be of good courage. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And He will, will, He shall strengthen your heart.